All right, as you see from the title of the video, uh, we're doing it. We're going over Roy. I uh, y'all was in my last stream last night talking about why Roy, uh, why I'm a living him up. So, but yeah, it's for this video, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, that a couple months ago when I really didn't have any units, Roy was actually not that bad to be honest. Um, this is where before Bert Wick and everybody came out and I uh, really didn't have any many units and he was great for the team He was great for my team at least and um, If you're a new upcoming player and if you don't have Roy, I recommend getting him um, But if you're a veteran player, there's literally no point in having him unless you just want him on your team just to uh, Just to mean or you just want all the units in the game or all the five-star units in the game at least but yeah, um, let's just get straight into the video. <laughs> Alright, but here is the homie Roy. This is my main team right here that I usually use. Alright, um, so let's go over him. I do not have his true weapon or true equipped, um, Wait, anyway, uh, you know how we usually start these videos? Skill, Water Fang Strike, 2.150k water damage, increases CR uh, rate, excuse me, by 50%, and break of power by 70% during enemies' arts. Arch is Blue Dragon Sword Destruction, 15.5k water damage, increases CR, CRI rate of 100%, and break power 150% during enemies' arts. They got, um, Azar. God Supremacy Sword Barrier as his true arts and this 30.8k water damage physical high chance of uh, ultimate freeze effect that would be good to freeze the enemy um let's get into his abilities right here H heals HP by 60 when near, when near death all allies damage from enemies 50% down only once night so knighthood of the empire I like that HP recovery when near death oh, since I didn't read that sorry Reyes best friend, Reyes attack 30% up only once. So, um, yeah. Um, there's really no point just using him. I don't have any equipped on him. I literally just awoken him last night, and uh, we're gonna put some equipped on him real quick. Alright, so. We got Ro right here. Like I said, um, this game, Grand Summoners, a lot of people. Are getting tired of Grand Summoners. Um, it's really dying out, I say, for like the veteran players. The um, even for like the new players, I've been playing this game for like almost two to four months and um, three months, something like that. And it's already so many stuff that came out. It's like it's just dying out for me. Like I'm real legit, like tired of it. Um, they're running back to Roy event, the slime event, been here for ages. Um. Like, I'm really, 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 really tired of it. And something needs to happen. Something needs to change. They haven't even announced Thetas for Global. They, um... Like, it's really, it's really tiring and annoying, to be honest. Even for, like, the new players, it's new, right? They, it's fun to them. Um, it's not so fun to me and the veteran players. Um, I'm, I want something new. Alright. I had to say, I'm trying to say because if I use her true arts, it's, we're just gonna, it's just gonna end. <laughs> so like, I'm gonna do so much damage. I'm trying to use his true arts. Come on. Are you kidding me? Come on. All right, there. All right, finally, we got his true arts. Well, let's see what his true arts. Imagine what the heck. That's legit like the like the ugliest thing. I mean He did damage though. It's like so guys, is there really a point grinding the Raven? I mean Yeah, I mean I guess so if you are a new player or if you're not a veteran player because there's so many better units than Roy. Um But if you're a new player, there is some chance of grinding the new event if you or the his event, but even though it just came out, um, yeah, there is, uh, you should grind it, just so you can exchange some things, you know, if you, uh, sold out on all, on the slime one, on the slime event, you can go exchange some stuff, or you can get his, um, uh, there's different equips that you can get, 
uh, I know uh, Fenar Crest stuff like that Ice Wolf Blade you can get and uh, you can use that if you uh, don't have any uh, anything else but pretty much other than that there's only equipped that you can really exchange with the Roy Ben then other events that you can exchange with uh, so much but anyway um he's he's a decent unit there's a ton of better units better than him um but i would recommend you guys slime uh grinding excuse me grinding the slime event and uh, because there's really nothing else to really do it's just pull on the banners for roy kane etc and um get those units awaken those units grind the event uh get equipped then um grind the slime event and you can exchange for uh more equipped uh so many souls um I mean, some of Awoken Souls and everything like that. Um, so you can learn break your equip and learn break and awaken your uh, your units. But other than that, Roy, he's a decent unit. Um, he's not gonna be on my main team. He's gonna be he's gonna probably be on my second raid team until he gets until he gets replaced. Where he will. Um, I'm saving up. So save up for Thetis, guys. Do not waste your time on this Roy. Sable for Vox for all the global players uh, that when Vox and Thetis come out, supposed to be coming out soon. Nobody doesn't know because it's, they're they're doing global wrong. I really tired of it. Other than that, um, that's probably gonna be it for this video, and I'll see you guys later. My name is Steven Snake, and I am out. Peace, Kid One Hundred.